Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to write a cover letter for an internal position. In this tutorial, I'll write an example letter for those that seek a new job or promotion within their current company. Now, once you're done writing your own version, I would advise you to download matching and professional looking resume and cover letter templates. Click on the link in the description for more information. Now, before I get started, let me first emphasize on the most important writing tips for internal transfers or promotions. First off, Pick a simple font of font size that is easy to read. For example, Verdana, Arial or Times New Roman with a 10 or 12 point font size is most suitable. Stick to a word count of around 300 to 400 words on a one page document and divide your letter into four paragraphs. Secondly, choose a proper greeting for your cover letter. In the context of an internal position, you can write Dear Mr. or Miss Fairfield. Don't use Mrs. as the abbreviation unless you know that the contact person is a married woman. I try to avoid generic openings like Dear Hiring Manager, Dear Sir or Madam or To Whom It May Concern. Thirdly, distinguish two types of cover letters, a general cover letter for an internal position and a cover letter for a promotion. For an internal job transfer, you need to focus on skills and experience that are relevant to the new position and your willingness to learn new things. And for a promotion, you emphasize on experience you've gained in your current role and that you are prepared to handle more responsibilities. Fourthly, pay attention to your tone of voice and show gratitude. Avoid leaving the impression that you are unsatisfied or simply want a transfer or promotion because you want more money. Be polite and grateful for the opportunities you've had in your current role and that you feel ready for a new challenge. At last, choose a proper closing salutation for your cover letter. In the context of an internal position, I would advise you to write best regards, or the more formal variation of kind regards. Last mention still communicates respect, but intuits less of an established relationship. Alright, that's it for the most important writing tips. Next up, I want to start writing the cover letter example. For an internal transfer, you need to list your contact information on the left side. In between white lines underneath, we put the date and then the reader's name and job title followed by the company's information. You can skip these formalities if you apply for a promotion. As for the salutation, we write Dear Mr. Fairfield. Now this is how you structure an American English cover letter. For British English, you need to put the contact information and date on the right side. After that, you need to put the date first, then the month, and exclude the comma. Underneath, we notice that the subject is included in the British English letter. It is commonly used in the UK but usually left out in the US. For American usage, the month is placed first, followed by the date, and you need to insert a comma between the day and year. We also include a dot after the abbreviation MR or MS. For British English, you can leave it out. In the first paragraph, you need to express your interest and clearly state which internal position you are applying for. Inform the reader about your background and elaborate on why you are qualified to take on the job role in question. In the second paragraph, you can shortly introduce yourself if the recipient barely knows you, followed by the motivation for the job role. Try to answer questions like, why do you want to change position or make a promotion? And why specifically this job role? Our key here is to direct the reader's attention and show that you are in fact motivated to take on this new opportunity. In the third paragraph, you need to like this video if you like what you see so far and subscribe for more related content. Okay, so match your qualifications to the job requirements. Now don't list your skills and experience like you do in your resume, but instead provide context, preferably with numerical or statistical information. So what have you achieved in numbers, statistics or awards you've been granted? Now key here is to convince the reader that you actually obtained the necessary qualifications. In the last paragraph, you can show your gratitude, but express your choice to go after your long-term career goals. Inform the reader about your willingness to discuss your candidacy and potential contribution. Refer to your attached resume and or testimonials and thank the reader for their time and consideration. At last, you need to close in a compelling way. So kind or best regards, followed by your name and surname. All right, so we touched upon the most important writing tips and we actually made an example letter of around 300 words and four paragraphs. Now, if you want to see this example and all of my other examples in text format, then visit my website via the link in the description. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, 
leave a comment down below and I will respond as soon as possible. If this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Want more related information? Then check out my other videos. Other than that, thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!